friends how we all did they do in house everybody holding up we are back once more once more we are back i am actually i you know what i'm quite proud of myself because i said i wasn't leaving this seat until i've got all these videos done i have in fact left my seat i did i did actually but i'm back I came back and we are doing part two of this, which is building the exact same house in The Sims 2. Without further ado, although maybe potentially further ado, because I've got to try and get this up. No, without further ado, let's head on in. So I am actually going to pick, going to pick. I am actually going to pick Pleasant View because Pleasant View. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of lgbt i am actually part of that community actually so don't think that i'm being derogative by saying that because i'm not i'm simply a big fan and i am part of the community so, so anyway this is the house in sims 1 oh you can't fucking see it can you this is the house in sims 1 i do have all of the pictures here and ready to go if you haven't watched that video i do recommend that you watch it because it's got a lot of context but it's not 100 necessary to watch that video if, to enjoy this one it's just recommended honestly so we're going to be building that exact house in the sims 2 and it's kind of fun because you can then you can see how much things have improved or haven't improved etc etc so i love the fact that you can put your own lots i'm not going to lie i've also forgot about the green screen let's go girls i am going to call this sim supply because i have been feeling really inspired by james turner aka the sim supply formerly known sim supplies videos and this is his idea so it, we are moving on sim supply street oh fuck it's so big that's right <laughs> although it is easier to judge the size of things in the sims 2 i think the biggest difference is being able to do this in the game because in the sims 1 it's just literally you've got one of four views babe it's either this 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 and it's either this zoom that zoom can't just like freely zoom in and out or change the angle of viewing i mean shot in terms out there but yeah you can't change any of that so ultimately it just ends up looking like a massive dollhouse which oh, i do love that though because the sims is technically just a massive dollhouse so i'm gonna replicate this oh god i miss this right zoom in on the screen please declan you can see here it says like 0 by 10 0 by 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 or like 3 by 6 that makes such a difference when it comes to building specifically when you're trying to replicate things oh god it makes such a difference i'm very pleased actually all right and then we had boom 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 one two three boom boom one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right well that was the that's the downstairs layout and then the upstairs layout is basically the same but i couldn't be asked building much more i think that's right that's basically the layout that the other house was oh fuck and it was also a victorian themed build so it was blue is it cladding see i would call this cladding but like i don't think everybody else calls it cladding i think everybody else calls it siding and i'm not saying either one of us are right babe but it, it does seem you know my existence <laughs> no i think the americans call this sliding and i call it cladding i don't know if english people call it cladding or if it's just a me thing and that's also been a struggle of my accent actually because some things i don't know if this is an english thing or if this is just a me thing for example absolutely is just a me thing and that is not a common said phrase in my accent it's just just a me thing babe i'm just special i'm special that was actually very easy i found this a lot more easy to make than the house in the sims one what i am struggling with is because obviously the games get better as you go along subjectively so i don't know if i should try and improve the house as we go along i might but like only slight improvements like i'm not going to be like right we're going to extend in this one we've came into some free cash i'm just gonna not place the exact same things because if i was going to keep it 100 percent realistic to the last house i'd probably you know pick a white swatch of that and have two of those as the front door like that but i want to kind of show how build mode has evolved over the past couple of games oh, i love these type of windows so don't mind me while i am just getting reminiscent not everything is going to be exactly the same i am going to improve because you know what i just fancy it don't i and i love an easy life babe i really do see we did have bare windows but i don't know i do like them oh my god and that kind of goes with the windows actually i am a bit bothered that these aren't 100 straight happy pride month <laughs> did sims 3 also have this issue i think i've got selective memory with it now like i genuinely can't remember if you could place winters in the middle in the sims 3 i don't think you could could you in the sims 4 until the update i don't know babe i don't know and i'm overwhelmed i'm gonna try and get the winters and everything the most close to the actual first build as i can in terms of placement like i'm not placing the exact same winters because as much as i do love and love to romanticize the sims 2 she was also fucking ugly at points and i just can't i can't live with that so oh god we had a red back door as well didn't we no 
I might do that. Oh, I mean, that's red. We could do, we could do that. Because then that still fits in with the Victorian vibe. See, it's easier to fit things together in The Sims 2. She is also my angel. And I am probably also going to finish this video and think, ah, oh, fuck, I really have been romanticizing this game. But it does make me happy to do so. So I've got no plans to change yet. Oh, fuck, I have made my first fucking issue. <laughs> Here we go. It's all fixed. Don't worry. Hey, God. That would have been hard if I'd have uh, approached that with a stressful mind. Glad I didn't do that. Why can't... Oh, God, I'm not. Actually, it's not back to being stressed, actually. First alarm. Can I just simply... I just want to just simply... I just simply... I just want to delete... There we go. I'm just letting Auto Roof do this one, babe. Auto Roof is uh, taking the... the What's it called? The ballot. Baton. That's it. <laughs> Auto roof is taking the baton. Right. So I think after these windows, I think we're pretty much sound as a pound, ready to go on. I'm going to do the kitchen because the kitchen did actually bring me a lot of joy. That could very soon come more clothes because I can't find the same type of tile. Oh no, that'll do. It's a bit green, bit slitherny. Or I could just do that and then white tile. It's a possibility. Oh, I used to do shit like this when I was a kid and I used to think I was so creative. And you you know what i'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that one because i do still enjoy the look oh wow that now see that is fancy i hate it and i wouldn't necessarily do it <gasps> that looks like your traditional 2014 kitchen but imagine that on the walls right anyway and then the wallpaper we had a yellow tile which is basically that but upside down. So I hope that, oh, well, we don't have it. So we're just going to have to cope with that, right? That is fine. It's fine. I'm going to carry on. And then we had these beautiful cabinets. Sorry to interrupt again, but I am having just a little bit of a crisis, actually, because there's this scene I've always hated in Harry Potter because of how they pronounce this word. It's a vanishing cabinet. A vanishing cabinet. Because I always thought we don't pronounce it like that. And then here I am. Cabinets. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've just discovered a little bit of information about myself that I really don't like and I'm not 100% comfortable with. Thank you for joining me on this TED Talk. I also need to add archways in so I actually know where I'm going. I am getting ahead of myself. And you know what? It's because I'm excited. I'm also going to change the arches to be this. Because you know what? As much as I love the chaotic energy of The Sims 1, I am looking for something a little bit more long term now. <gasps> I didn't do the bathroom in The Sims 1 house. Oh, that is so like me. Oh, <laughs> I don't have time for this today, best. See, I really don't. Sorry. If anyone is curious, how does that even happen? When you turn the tile, it's comma and full stop. And then if you press shift, it fills the entire room up. But if you press both at the same time, this happens, which I've made a game that makes me feel seasick. What a thrill I have. I want a thrill to have something like this that makes me feel seasick. It's getting a bit much now. But if you click this button, it stops. Just in case anybody is caught in the same predicament as me. It's so great that you can get another tile and then just hold control, delete the original one that you put on it's brilliant actually it really really is it's a, i love this part of the game because deleting things in the sims 4 is not intuitive like you can click and hold and delete everything but it's just not as intuitive as the sims 2 deleting is really good in the sims 2 just in case anybody was curious how i feel about deleting things in the sims 2 a big fan actually big fan oh my god look at that wall <gasps> Oh, I kind of want to go with this now because this is so much more Victorian, but also does not fit with my style at all of this house. Fuck it. I'd have to match the windows and I'm just not, not cut out for that life, actually. I don't think that's a bit of me. All right, stoves in. Thankfully, in The Sims 2, we could actually put bins and dishwashers underneath the sink, underneath the counters even. I don't know who made that executive decision in The Sims 2. You know, I've been questioning the, these executive decisions since Sims 1, honestly. And you know what? I haven't changed. I haven't changed. I did also put my microwave in how random of me i'm not usually want to put a microwave in so random i guess you know we all surprise ourselves sometimes i didn't even look at curtains in the sims one which i'm putting on the sims one do you know what i mean that's not my fault they didn't put anything to pull my attention enough yeah there's lots of attention grabbing things in the sims one that may have potentially outshined a curtain oh god look at that i'm gonna put that over there oh homely homely i love it i love it this is a perfect house for a perfect family oriented sim who may or may not be me it's me oh look at that oh lived in this is probably the most amount of clutter that i have ever put in a house in the sims 2 i know that there's a way to get things higher in the sims 2 as well but i can't for the life of me remember how to do it but there is a way to like pull things up on the wall how i don't know i was not to know Oh, look at that cow. Moo, moo. Couldn't really live in stuff. I'm thinking of you, babe. Oh, look at them oven mitts. Oh, fire hazard. I'm very happy. I am. I am. Right. I'm going to put a plant here to deal with the intense offset that is this 
thing it's very victorian that is the most naughties looking thing i have ever seen in my life people don't know what the naughties is as well because i think the naughties is quite a british saying we refer to 2000 to 2010 as the naughties this style is so naughties I mean, i'm also just if you use move objects on well i can't remember the shape but if you do do a cheat you can use move objects on to delete this back chimney a bit but i apparently do not know the cheat so i'm sure it's just it can't be bull prop move objects on no oh well i might just turn the cheat off you never know oh my god i have never used that wallpaper in my life or that one oh my god i actually genuinely feel like i am just playing with certain portions of this game for the first time i am a bit perplexed unless it came with a pack that i didn't get to play with because i never got to play with all of the packs when i was a kid couldn't afford it could i babe now we can finally get back to fashion i keep thinking that i'm done and then i have more things to do so we don't have a big square table like the one i included in the sims one the closest thing that we've got is this but i didn't actually want a big square table in the first place so i might just do something like this in the middle i love the sims one right like nostalgic memories and stuff like that she's got a big place in my heart it's like your favorite childhood film you might have grown out of it but it's always got a place in your heart that's what the sims one is for me but fuck me i am so happy to be able to click on a chair and have multiple swatches for that one chair thank the fucking lord he exists oh hey hens i need to find a globe like a drinking globe oh my god i used to love that plant right i can't find a globe but i can find a bar god look how many we've got the sims team's always loved bars honestly then we have a fun little paint on the side i'm gonna put a freezer bunny up there because i love freezer bunnies and i love strong and consistent branding it is actually one of my favorite things i think the living room was pretty boring actually i think all we had was a set a which that is basically a perfect replica of the one that we use but i don't know if i should go for something a bit more fancy makes me a bit uncomfortable actually because it does look like it's stinks of austerity i don't know if they go at all but literally babe i've said it before i'll say it again tories have absolutely no style and apparently this family have turned into tories well i don't you know what it's not even necessarily tories that have no style rich people as a whole have no style and i will this is the hill that i will happily happily plod myself along to and then die on rich people have no fucking style and if you don't believe me go on to right move or whatever i don't know house selling thing that your country has and saw from highest to lowest and you'll be like jesus christ who allowed these people to have money money doesn't buy style babe it doesn't and i think this is something that we as a society collectively need to address because i can't have these rich people continue to ruin houses i say that as i've got this fucking <laughs> worrying piece of interior design going on right here that was rude oh my god a spice rack sorry well i just scooch over to the most decorated room in the house the kitchen right and then desk in the corner i'm lightening it up this time i don't know which vibe i like better like aesthetically i don't know if i prefer the the dark victorian vibe or the light victorian vibe oh look you can see the improvement in technology from the sims 1 to the sims 2 but we've still got these although they're flat screens but they're like alienware pcs i swear they used to be please let me know if i'm making this up but i don't think that i am i swear there used to be an alienware pc that you could download from the sims 2 exchange i swear to god they used to be i mean to be fair this computer will set you back 2800 simoleons so like it's not like it's easily accessible do you know what i mean only one out of the four computers available have this big shell on the back you could never see the computer screen as well when the light hit it that's that next is the tari room which brings me great pain to make i just because i know that i know that they'll sit in here and discuss my rights not just mine other people's as well but something about that just doesn't sit right with me it doesn't right why are rich old men allowed to make all of the decisions you know what I can easily understand why I never used to use rugs in any previous game, really. They are very fucking hard to match up. Like, you've just kind of got to have to cope with the fact that your rugs are going to look shit. And I'm not comfortable with that. I've also never seen as many chessboards as I have in the Sims franchise. Like, day to day, if you got your only education from the Sims, you'd probably think that llamas are more prominent. Into, like, you're more likely to run into a llama. You'd probably think that. Oh, look at Bella, babe oh i'm gonna have to put it there freeze bunny can go over here but yeah i can confidently say i've never ran into a chessboard like just in my day-to-day -day life now admittedly i'm probably not in the right social circles to do so being from a blue collar working class family you know it's not often that it's like oh would you like to sit down and play some chess that's never left anyone anyone's mouth in my family i think my dad's asked me to play chess before actually 
But we have like a little wooden chest for this big, God bless. I'm also going to put another picture of Balagoth because she is a legend at this point. She's missing everything. Nobody knows what my does though. I don't know. I'd like to believe that they're the perfect type of couple, but I do sense something wrong with him. Thankfully, we have the love heart bed. She is still a strong contender, standing strong in The Sims 2. We love to see it. I can't find these fucking fireplaces to save life me, I swear to God. Oh, and I really miss the big, well, I just call it a wardrobe, but I think armoires is like the actual name for the, the big tall things like that. <gasps> Oh, that's beautiful. See, this is the type of stuff I would love to bring into The Sims 2. I really need to learn how to convert meshes. Or even just, I need to learn how to even look at a mesh. I need to learn what programs I need and everything. Because I'm not going to lie to you, babe. I've got no fucking clue. <gasps> oh, I wonder if they have our fuzzy seat back. They do not. They do not. But we do have a fun panda. I mean, I wish The Sims team would panda to my wants and wishes for The Sims as a franchise. But we have a panda chair, which, you know. Oh, my gosh. That is a bold statement. They do love bamboo the sims team bamboo chess bars chairs right i think that's a pretty decent reproduction that'll do donkey that'll do kids bedroom at the back of this one is the nerd who loves to read not an issue with that because i am a nerd who loves to read no criticism is meant oh, i might make this last proper into racing like look at that i love all the theme bedroom stuff mate family fun stuff is actually it probably does go down i don't think this is family fun stuff though family fun stuff does go down as one of my all-time favorite packs ever to be released and it's a stuff pack i and it's hard for me to be impressed with stuff packs usually. But Family Fun Stuff blew out the park. Maybe because I wasn't expecting it though. Because I think Family Fun Stuff was the first stuff pack to be introduced. Maybe. Right, there is this room done. I do need to start using curtains though. There we go. Alright, let's get the Tory curtains on this room. Bish, bash, bosh. I'm actually really excited for this room. Because I actually, I really like this wallpaper. And I think, you know, if and when I have a kid. Which I will, 100% actually. I will have a, I will have a child. I do actually quite fancy adopting. Mom? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> I'm very excited about that. In fact, my mood has massively increased. I'm in a really good mood, hey, hey. But yeah, when I have a kid, I actually... This is the wallpaper that I want. I, I apologise in advance, by the way, cold drink trigger my asthma. But this room also definitely looks like uh, a little child ghost lives here. Again, I think it's the Victorian vibes. Like, when did we all just decide as a society that Victorians are going to be the one to haunt us? I do like this room, though. Oh, uh, yeah, no, 100%. I think I'd be fine being haunted to divide this kind of bedroom. Just at least take the edge off you know what i mean why so why are you in the wall right anyway i tried to put some pictures up in this kid's room but he won't let us so the only thing left is the pet stuff there you go darling where have you bloody been bitch you know what i can't even say how usable this house is going to be because like the sims 2 as amazing as she is in terms of gameplay is notoriously bad for rooting so like in the sims 4 if i place this bone in front of this dog bed or whatever you'd still be able to use it but in the sims 2 it's like i'm not I can't swim. I am going to be generous and put a freestanding bath in. Don't ask about the shower. I would put a normal one in, but I'm not... Actually, no, fuck it. Nobody's even going to use this room because I don't actually have a family living here. No, that's too... No, you know what? They don't get a shower. Just get a fucking bath, right? I love baths. Baths are my favourite thing in the world. Now, will this is also another hill that I will... Uh, yeah, this is the hill I'll die on. Oh my God, I literally remember getting a bed like that. Memories. Anyway, I know that in baths, you're basically sitting in your own dirt. I, I am aware of that because that's the argument people always try to use it's also a bath is the only place that i ever fully decompress like you know some people decompress by scrolling through tiktok or anything or something like that being in the bath is the only place i can really decompress so mind your fucking business oh yeah family fun stuff is just fucking fantastic isn't it but honestly she's got no right to be this fucking good i just love her i love family fun stuff let me get a fun family fun stuff themed desk look at that Oh, she's stunning. That doesn't fit with the vibe, but fuck it. There we go. I think the house is done. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, we needed a pool in the back garden. I will get on that right now. I hate these chimney breasts. The fact that they didn't give you the option to customise chimney breasts in The Sims 2 was honestly a crime. That feels like a hate crime. <laughs> Well, I hated it. That's how I feel about that, 100%. Wait, is Move Objects on working now? Oh, fuck off, you bitch. Oh, the trees are so much better in this game. Because the, the trees actually look like they're part of the environment now instead of just being shoved. Did you know you could do this as well in The Sims 2 with Move Objects on on? You could repaint the road. 
Hee hee, how fun. Right, anyway, that is the house pretty much done. Did we have a pond tool in Sims 2? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. There is my moat. Literally nobody come in or out of the property. Only ghosts. Thank you. Right, there it is. I actually, I enjoyed building this one a lot more. It was still kind of stressful in places. The main places that I get stressed, honestly, is settees and dining tables. They're the main parts that I get stressed in. But I never remember having this problem when I was playing The Sims 2. But I think it's just because of what we had at the time, if you know what I mean. So I didn't... Yeah. Right, so that is the end of this video. The next video, you guessed it, bitch, will be The Sims 3, making the same house in The Sims 3, and then The Sims 4. At this point, I do wish I picked a smaller home. I wish I'd have picked making a tiny home in every version of The Sims, but it is what it is, babe. It is what it is. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.